Hello and welcome to this how tech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how to use arrays and array formulas in Excel 2016. So an array is basically a group of data, like so, a column, a row, a section, it could be two by whatever, or a bunch by whatever. You just can't have three by three or three dimensional matrices, only two dimensional matrices, which we should always have. So you don't need to worry about any of that. So for our example here, we'll hit equals and we just want to multiply this column of units by their corresponding rows and whatnot in the column of unit cost. So if we go ahead and hit enter there, we get 45.77, which is 23 times 1.99. And of course, you know how to do it. You just drag the handle down to copy the formula over. But if we didn't want to do that, or if we were using some big large formula in a singular cell, and all sorts of other things, then we need to use arrays. So if we select all of these cells, I'll just paste our function back in there. You see we need to hit Control shift enter to input it as arrays. So otherwise, if we don't do that, we'll just get the singular cell of 45.77. I'll show you another example with the sum value. If we copy all of that and we multiply it by this column, so we see that we get that answer, which doesn't seem quite correct. So what we want to do is multiply the unit cost by the total. And it seems that we didn't get the correct answer here. But if we use Control shift enter put those curly brackets in there and get, use arrays, then we see that we get a much more reasonable answer. And to test this out, we can use the sum product formula, which as you can see in the arguments here, it takes arrays. So we'll use that array there, throw in a comma, and take that array. And you can see, once I hit enter, without using control shift enter, it already takes it as arrays automatically. So we don't need to worry about that. It'll just give us the same exact answer. So this has been a How Tech Video tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.